Hi Kylie, all the best of luck for your final years of high school and, and beyond of course. Uh, when it came to how I studied for tests, um, the best way to prepare for an exam is to use past papers because at the end of the day, that's how you're going to be assessed. And if you're familiar with the content and the format and the kinds of responses that you need to give, uh, you will feel much more confident in the, exact, in the actual exam. However, don't just do an open book or look at the exam questions and sort of think, yeah, okay, I kind of know this. Sit down, um, do them, timed under exam conditions. And then, of course, look at the answers afterwards and try and mark yourself or even get with a group of friends like a study group or even your teacher uh, to ask for feedback. And that can be a really effective way to prepare for an exam because when the exact actual exam comes around, you will um, not be worried about timing or anything of the sort. Of course, uh, in terms of study techniques, I tried to do all the work that was expected of me, my homework, and tried to keep on top of my assignments and spend enough time on them. But on top of that, I tried to write my study notes as I went, uh, revise the content every week to make sure that I wouldn't have to cram just before an exam. And study techniques can really vary. It depends what works best for you. Um, you can try seeing whether writing notes or using flashcards or going in a study group and asking each other questions um, helps the most when it comes to you learning your content. But um, if you use um, a couple of those techniques, um, use what best, works best for you, take breaks, make sure you do things other than study, um, you should be absolutely fine. And if you have the motivation, you can get the marks that you want. And I wish you the best of luck once again. Thank you.